Oh, good evening, everybody. Uh, today I got my servo knot uh, M211, and this is the M211 module motor driver. Uh, and I set up instead of taking just putting it straight into the dozer, I did a um, setup on on a test some test motors here um, it's pretty easy uh, the two yellow wires are one motor the two blue wires go to the opposite motor and then you've got your power from your battery I'm using a 11.1 uh, volt 4100 milliamp three cell test battery here um, it is pretty easy it has a little plug in here for a sound module. Um, pretty easy to set up. Uh, comes with a little jumper plug or a jumper plug to do the setup. And all you do is you wait for the uh, one through five modes there is. You uh, as soon as you as soon as the light blinks green, one is one mode. Two blinks is two, mode two, and so on up to five. Uh, this particular setup is on mode 3 um, and I've got it hooked up been testing it uh, I don't know if, how good you can see these motors I got a little piece of tubing on each motor uh, just testing that's forward that's reverse and then to go left left forward you would want the right motor to turn because this track will turn this one won't and then you'll go left if that makes sense and the opposite way for the other direction straight across does nothing you got to add forward or a little bit of reverse to get the uh, motor action but straight just straight over does absolutely nothing um, so if you want to go right hand turn the left motor will turn forward or reverse and then the other way is left forward and reverse anyway it works out pretty good um, I did a previous video by on the uh, dozer with the uh, saber tooth um, it worked great for about four batteries and that's like four different four times out four different days ran a battery through it every, every time and the the last day I had it out on day four it acted up again it went into reverse on its own and that was uh, and I've ran it since then and it didn't act up it's been running fine but there's still some kind of interference going on in there. So I finally got this. And I'm going to put this in the dozer. And see if we get any luck uh, with this. Uh, hopefully we don't have any more problems. Um, but I've almost got that thing saber tooth figured out. Uh, and what I'd done on the previous one my video. Was I unhooked a power wire that was going to the receiver. Because I thought, well, maybe the receiver was getting overpowered. And uh, anyway, it like I said, it did it did do its dance again. And then this finally came today. I've ordered this on May twelfth. It came today. It's no, I ordered this on May fifth, and today is July sixth. So it's taken two months and a day to get this because of the virus. This came from the United Kingdom. Uh, from uh, I guess I'll, I'll put a link in the description it came it comes from uh, RC point um, yeah Netherland RC point I'll put a link in the description uh, it, 
he's on uh, eBay. With, uh, most of the servo nut stuff you find is from him on eBay. So anyway, thanks for watching. We're gonna get the dozer over here to take this back apart. This test apart. Get the dozer over here. Take the cab off and the grill. Not the front grill, but the side side grill. So we can get in there and get the saber tooth out of there and get this wired in um, and see how it works and we can take it out and test it out in the field and see how it goes. Thanks for watching guys.